Task Manager is a tool in Windows 10 that can tell you a lot of useful things. From how your system uses its resources as a whole to specific information about each process, you can get to this tool by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and Delete at the same time and then clicking on Task Manager. You can also get here by right clicking on the Start button and then clicking on the Task Manager option, even though this is a good tool that works well. There are times when problems can happen if Task Manager does not load, or if you can't make it to appear after pressing the shortcut keys. Here are the solutions that you must do. Before trying any of the troubleshooting steps, you should restart your computer. This action restarts the operating system and gets rid of any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problem. In this case, the first thing you should do is make sure that your computer doesn't have any malware on it most of the time. This problem is caused by a virus or other malware. You can run a scan with the built-in Windows security software. Select Start. Go to Settings. Go to Update and Security. Click on Windows Security. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Under Current Threats, select Scan Options. Select Full Scan. Select Scan Now. Sometimes the problem is caused by turning off the Task Manager. You just need to turn on the Task Manager to fix this. Press Windows plus R to launch the run application. Type gpedit.msc in the dialog box and press Enter. Navigate to the following path. User Configuration. Administrative Templates. System. Control plus Alt plus Dell Options. You will see an entry named Remove Task Manager. Double click it to open its settings. Set the setting as enabled and click on apply. Select not configured or disabled and press apply. The final value is not configured, disabled. We selected enable and apply changes so the group policy can overrun any settings done by any external application or malware. Press OK to save changes and exit. Restart your computer in order for the changes to take place. Running the system file checker command will fix the problem if it is caused by a corrupted or missing system file. Here's what you need to do. Type command prompt in the search bar then right click on the command prompt app that appears and click on run as administrator. In the command prompt windows type sfc, scan all and press enter, wait for the process to finish. If the problem keeps coming back, Run a DISM scan. In the command prompt windows type DISM online cleanup image restore help and press enter to run it. Wait for the process to finish. There's a chance that the problem is caused by account data that has been messed up. If this is the problem, you will need to make a new user account. Open the settings app. Go to the accounts section. Choose family and other users from the menu on the left. Click the Add Someone Else to this PC button in the right pane. Choose I don't have this person sign in information. Now select Add a user without a Microsoft account. Enter the desired username and password and click Next. Switch to this newly created account. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.